right, get ready. It's another lightning strikes twice. Yeah, I guess it'll be fun. I don't know. You decide. <laughs> Probably going to rain. <laughs> and for those that don't know, we each have one topic apiece the other doesn't know about. And we have five minutes to discuss. So I guess I'm first here. And so my topic is kind of a economic related one, I guess. Um, hmm. And so. Sh- I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> you're just There's a good a, chance of that. <laughs> just a contrarian, you know, like <laughs> before I even mention what it is. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, it, in the U.S., most stores pri- show the prices of things without tax included whereas in a lot of other countries they do it the other way around they have their like vat is included in the price mm-hmm. so like the price you see is the price you pay um yep. so what do you th- what do you think about that that is confusing um like i i i run into that here in germany like thinking like oh um you know that that price sounds you know whatever you know, like you know, too much or too little or whatever. But in my head, I'm not only like having to factor in whether or not it's taxed or whether or not it would even be taxed in America because certain foods are, certain foods aren't, yeah. Um, yeah, things like that. And then there's a conversion rate and all that. So like, oh God, but that's all right. in all, I think it's a good idea to tell people exactly what they're paying. Yeah. You know, yeah, exactly. I mean, unless like a product ends up having an additional service fee attached mm-hmm. to it somehow. Like, I don't know, you buy a car battery and then they charge you like 10 bucks to install it, you know, or you can install it yourself yeah. or something like that's fair. But yeah, I, I really don't understand that. And it, it it's kind of, and I, maybe the, the reason is that uh, the price looks lower, um, but that's like, I'm pretty sure that's exactly why. I mean, well, that and they, they change the sales tax quite often. I, I imagine it would be a little bit of a, a difficult um, oh, you know, yeah. back end sort of thing. You're right. Uh, I mean, that would be kind of like when we had a business. Remember how much of a headache sales tax was for me? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, and that's that's the thing. It's like, but I don't know. There's, I don't know if there is a solution for this, but there should be. Um, because like <laughs> as a customer who travels around either city to city, state to state, country to country, like you never know what the tax rate is. Mm-hmm. You know, even like in if you go to Washington State, you, you can like look up, oh, what Washington State? It's this tax rate, but then you go to one city and it's slightly different, and then you go to another city and it's slightly different. Like it, you never quite know. And then you go to states like yeah. Oregon that don't have a sales tax, so it's like you know. That's kind of, it's just confusing. Yeah. I mean, if, if you're going to surprise your customer one way or the other, uh, they'd rather be surprised by paying less than what they thought it would be. Very you know, true. Like, <laughs> yes. But like yeah. showing, showing you exactly what you're going to pay at the cash register is, I, I don't know, it just kind of sounds intuitively like a thing to do right yeah yeah i never really understood why it was done the other way um well i I think i think you're right about the like having to change price tags um all the time but i mean grocery stores do that all the time because food products and various things like that change price all the time because it's like Mm -hmm. they have to source something and maybe like oh there there's a shortage so the price goes up or maybe there's a surplus so the price comes down so they're always changing prices. And nowadays you could probably almost have like digital price tags that would be dirt cheap. Oh yeah. Well, or, some or, places do. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, uh, Kohl's. Yeah. Does that. That, it's, that's genius. Yeah. And there are, I've come, I've come across stores in the U S where they have the price, including sales tax. Um, mm-hmm. And I think what they do, even though the, the, the tax rate fluctuates, they probably just absorb that. So they price their things so that it factors in like a little wiggle room, you know, that could be, that could be. And that would, that Um, would make sense. I would do that as a business owner. I'd be like, you know, especially a big store or something. It's just easier on the customer. Well, yeah. And some businesses are like, 
and no sales tax. And of course, what they're doing there is just absorbing that fee or yep. you know, charging a little extra and just not showing you the tax. Exactly. Um, Which could be, I mean, it's convenient, I guess, in that regard. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but when we changed over from liquor stores to selling liquor in in grocery stores, mm -hmm. um, there was some controversy because there was so much tax on it that it was like way more than what the sticker said. Like when you yeah. got to the register, it was like, I forget, like 40% more than you expected. Yeah, I, yeah. Think they, I think they now put the actual price that you pay at the register on liquor. I Why don't they, they do that? With that? Yeah, you're right. I, well, and that that's a good They point. show it's clearly possible. I know. <laughs> Well, one one other thing like that's super annoying is that whole like you know how they price things at like to the ninety nine cent mark oh, yeah. instead of even dollars or half dollars. Nobody's oh. fooled by that. No, <laughs> I just round up in my head every time. Like it, it's just stupid. Like just mm -hmm. even dollars. Like why? I, well, uh, and ca gas stations are the worst because they pull out fractions. Fractions of a cent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like really, does it matter that much? Oh well, that's time. Yeah, <laughs> that that could be a whole other. <laughs> oh man, topic. I know. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay, All right. it's your turn. Well, I think mine's a little, a little bit tomfoolery, but uh, it's a serious topic. All right. Do you you think Barbie and He Man are responsible for body dimorphisms? Oh. I mean, As in, like, oh, unrealistic expectations of I, men and to, women, you know? Like. To, to some extent. I, I mean, they're maybe, like, uh, uh, like a, they, they're born out of the culture in some ways, I think. I, you know, it's like, which one influences the other? Is culture influencing the products or the products influencing the culture? And maybe there's a sort of a cycle there. Um, mm. certainly like magazines and TV shows and things probably have even more of an effect because they're like actual people. Um, it's the same effect though. Yeah. Uh, like well, where, you know, like it's always like every, every male movie star has to have a six pack, <laughs> no matter what the character is, you yeah. know, like if it's a total slob for some reason, he's got to have a six pack, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and with women, they, they tend to have to be like, you know, really skinny and uh, yeah. you know, scantily clad and all yeah. this. Well, you know, I, like, I think you're, you might be right to an extent. I mean, cause like products like He-Man or Barbie or whatever, um, mm -hmm. th those like very young kids are exposed to those fairly early on, probably uh -huh. before they start reading like teen magazines or something or, or uh, watch certain television shows. Um, so it's like, cause I mean, they may watch cartoons and and even in cartoons, it's the same way. Like Shira, even too, and He Man, mm -hmm. they all kind of have this uh, exaggerated, um, uh, like beauty or whatever, or, right. or musculature or something. You know, like I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. But like, how much of a like how much of a problem is that? Like, how much do you really think uh, that that like expectation building is grounded in reality like people can clearly see like the everyday person is not that way right yeah yeah exactly and, yeah, i mean it's a it's a little bit like the whole violent video game philosophy that that creates violent people and <laughs> clearly it does not <laughs> oh yeah clearly not <laughs> so i i you yeah. know i kind of take eh, i take it with a grain of salt the whole idea myself mm -hmm. well and i think uh, maybe it could be it, there could be a positive to it as well in that it, maybe it gives people a goal to attempt to achieve like you know i want to be ripped like he-man someday but like yeah. you wouldn't look at your friend who's not ripped like he-man and be like oh you know you're not cool or you wouldn't look at yourself mm -hmm. in the mirror and you know like because you you, know, you can you can compare yourself to everyday people uh, well, that's know. where people get divided though they say oh that's that's you know it, what you would think is healthy but people take it a step beyond when they aren't hitting that goal because yeah. it's unrealistic you know like exactly yeah well like he that, man he man looks buffer than lou ferrigno you know yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> exactly and shira <laughs> or not shira but uh, a barbie is like uh, like an inhumanly 
proportioned, you know? Yeah. It's not, not even the, the shape of a human. Yeah. You can't even, I mean, they, they have actually changed their products a lot. It, mm-hmm. um, they've released a lot of like more natural proportioned dolls, which is good. Uh, mm-hmm. But I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think it, it could definitely do harm in a way and that people will feel bad about themselves because they're comparing themselves to these idealistic uh, individuals and, mm-hmm. and they, maybe they feel like they're somehow lesser than, um, but then that would be basically be the entire population, you know, would be doing that. Right. Um, and, and I, I mean, I guess if you live in a bubble and all you watch is like cartoons or TV shows or something, but I mean, if you go out <laughs> into that real world, you see that there's all kinds of people and nobody seems to be pointing fingers at each other, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and i mean like these are these are singular characters in in imaginary universes of their own where not necessarily everybody is okay well in he-man everyone was buff for some reason mm-hmm. but <laughs> even I mean, Tila, like, too in, in the in the 80s version let's say like i think they kind of changed a lot of that like like making prince adam just as buff as he-man was kind of a a flaw in the in the story arc let's say yeah because then uh, doesn't the sword the sword just like rips his shirt off essentially basically <laughs> and gives him a spray tan yeah. like, <laughs> and nobody ever figured out like his voice is the same yeah like well just, with just, some reverb really, yeah know? exactly <laughs> but it's like it's basically the same and they kind of look the same so like yeah. oh, that's time i, yeah, I just mean, think at least it's can't put glasses on I know. Yeah. Yeah. He was a little harder to distinguish, but (laughs) (laughs) oh man. God. All right. Well, that concludes the lightning round. So yep. Yeah. See you next week. Motherfuckers.